love, so today we're gonna play with some e.l.f. makeup. I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna try and do pretty much all e.l.f. I might have to reach for a couple other things, but for the majority, we're gonna try out all of that new e.l.f. stuff that we hauled uh, last week, last week, last week. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump in. Please subscribe if you have not already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and more. Let's do this. Let's just jump in. I've already primed my face. I went ahead and used my Revolution Pro Featherweight Primer because that's my favorite, my go-to. So I went ahead and found all of my ELF foundations. I do have a little bit of a self tan right now, so I'm not sure which one's going to match or if any of them are going to match. We might just have to darken them up. It's like the acne fighting foundation or something. I feel like this one might be the darkest. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with my beauty sponge. This is just the Shop Miss A Wonder Blender, my fave. Hopefully we can get my, <laughs> it's kind of spotty. Wow. I am not good at self tanning, clearly. Uh, we're just gonna get this to match a little bit. I feel like it's still a little bit too light, so we might, yeah, like I said, add something in. We'll see. Adding just a little bit of this Revolution Conceal and Hydrate in C11.2 just to darken things up. It's obviously way darker than my actual skin or my self tan, but this will just kind of blend it together a little bit. Uh, that's fine. It's fine. We're not going anywhere. That's my excuse for everything these days. It's like, it's fine. We're not going anywhere. We'll be fine. I really like the finish of that foundation. Look at that. Wow. I know this is mixed in a little bit, but I liked it before I mixed this in. But I mean, I like this too. Don't get me wrong. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I'm doing this in a weird order because I want to do my shadow and then do my concealer. Because uh, we're going to try and do the fox eye trend. Everyone was requesting the elf video and the fox eye trend. So I'm just going to put them together. I'm just going to use the AOA, the AOA brow gel. Mine is in taupe. Fox eye trend is supposed to be like Bella Hadid where like her, you know, her brow goes... Up. I'm gonna try and trick my brow by using some clear brow gel. This is the Anastasia clear brow gel. See if I can, because my brow hairs are kind of long, I need to trim them, but can't be bothered right now. So I'm gonna try and get them to stay up at the tail. And I could just trim them, which I might. I'm just gonna use my AOA E114. And I will go back and clean them up. So if this is a little messy, it's fine. I think if I clean that up with my brow, I mean with my concealer, it'll be golden. I'm just gonna look a little crazy right now. The whole point is to like pull your eyes up. <laughs> They're really dark right now, but we'll see. I'm just gonna use a little bit of concealer. This is the Infinite Conceal and Define from Revolution. Any concealer will work for you. Okay, they're a little bit different. They're a little bit higher. So anyway, let's just let's just keep moving. I think I'm gonna try it with shadow shields. Um, it might be a little too harsh. We can always blend it afterwards, but I feel like for me, it's gonna be the quickest, easiest way. So I just get these off Amazon. I mean, Shop Miss A has some too. They're just shadow shields. I'm gonna kind of match it with the tail of my brow. How about that? That's better. Oh, I'm supposed to use my, I forgot I had a new e.l.f. brow product. You guys, I'm sorry. I'll use it in the next video if I remember. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All excited to use that. And I totally forgot. I just got too excited about the brows. I've been thinking about it. All right, so we're going to use these little guys today. I'm going to mostly use the green one. I'm going to try and do this look with uh, a green smoky fox eye. We'll see. I don't know. We're just playing. We'll see how it goes. Um, so cute. This is the bite size eyeshadow palette and hot jalapeno elf of course we're gonna start with i think this one it's gonna start laying it down along that line popping some concealer on there because i'm the worst i forgot to frighten my eyes when i do things out of order i just get so confused it may need to go out a little further than this uh 
Shadow Shield is going to let it. And I'm going to focus most of the color along here. We are going to end up putting a black line here, I think. Um, at least that dark, dark green that's in this little palette. We'll see. But I just put it down basically this way down, like diagonal down, like you can see. But we are going to leave a lot of this space open. So it kind of, you know, or put a, like a light shade in there. I think I want to use just the tiniest bit. I'm going to dip into this palette just a little bit. I want to use just a little bit of this guy, I think, just to kind of help blend the edges, just a tiny, tiny bit. I'm actually going to go in with the brown shade first over here to see if that makes any difference. So it might be easier to do the brown shade first because your green will blend into it a little easier. I don't want to use a lot, but I just want like a faint. It's really hard to change because I always do this, so I'm just like trying to keep it straight. All right, I'm gonna go with the green now. And that other eye probably will speed through this because you guys know exactly what I'm doing. Oh gosh, I moved it too many times and now it's popping off. <laughs> so I'm just slowly building this up. This is just the Physician's Formula Mineral Correcting Powder and Translucent. I'm just going to go into this face powder um, and take a brush and kind of brighten the lid, but also set the concealer. Um, we're probably just going to keep it kind of a skin tone lid, I think. A little brighter, obviously. This is brighter than my pan face. And I'm going to take that on the brow bone too. Oh, that's bright. It'll blend though. Don't worry. So I'm going to just go into this darkest shade. This one we're going to keep closest to the shadow shield. Kind of like a liner. What we might still do a wing liner. I'm not sure yet. Probably knowing me. But kind of put it where you would have your liner. Actually, I think I'm going to mix that green with the black. Um, I don't know if I already said, but this one's truffles. This one is hot jalapeno. So I'm going to I am just going to mix the dark green and the black, these two. And I'm stamping it along. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. Wow, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer, I think, and then move back to the... This is intense. Move back to the eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, the Hydrating Camo Concealer. But I know this one's gonna be a little too light for me right now, so I'm gonna mix in... I'm gonna mix in some C9 of Conceal and Define from Revolution. Blend it all out. If you don't have shadow shields, using when you put on your concealer, it's going to clean up your line anyway. I just used them because I had them and I figured why not. Oh, we're going to contour. We're going to contour because I'm excited to use this. Let's contour and then we'll we'll finish the eyes. Elf Primer Fuse Bronzer and Forever Sun Kiss. I'm so excited to use this. I've heard such good things about it. I'm going to use this brush. A lot of you guys always ask me what this is. It's the F13 from ColourPop. I don't know what it's actually made for. I just like using it for contour because it's got the kind of straight side, but it's also really easy to blend so you don't get too harsh of a line, but I like a more intense contour, so this brush is really good for me, but I also want it to be blended. So hopefully with this self tan, it'll be the right shade. It might be a little light. I'm gonna try and keep my contour high. Um, I might actually even sculpt it out because I want that whole, you know. It is a little bit warm, but it's not, not like too warm. I'm trying to clean it up just a little bit. I'm using this It Cosmetic Celebration Foundation Illumination and Fair because uh, it's darker than that Physician's Formula powder. If I was not self tan, I'd be using the Physician's Formula one. But this one is wonderful too. Now this kind of pulls it up. Um, I think I'm gonna drag that same green shade under just a tiny bit. I don't want to go too heavy. Seem like this whole time. So I dipped into just a teeny, teeny bit of this brown again. We we're literally like using those two shades. 
almost on everything. I do want a little bit of black on the lower lash line. I'm trying to think of what brush to use. Slowly out here so this all blends. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a wing and then blend it. So I'm gonna go with my Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen in Ultra Black because um, it's really teeny, teeny tiny. And I'm gonna put it just along my lashes. So it all kind of blends together. I didn't take it all the way. The wing ends right here, but it blends right into that black. And then I'm probably going to blend that black on top of it, honestly. Back with that teeny tiny brush and that black. And I'm just going to kind of blend it because I don't want it to be such a harsh wing, but I want the wing there. And I'm just going to start like blending it right where my pupil is, so my pupil and over. I'm gonna put a little bit of that same green we've been using the whole time on the brush and blend it into the black. I have like the most perfect lashes for this, but I'm not sure because I remember I really did not like these on me, but these are Socialize Vamp. Uh, they are, because they all just work. So they're perfect for this, but let me pop one on my eye and see if this is what I actually want to wear because I remember I really didn't like it very much. Hey, we're gonna try it. Let's just, hopefully that'll wing up enough once it's actually on. Okay, we're gonna try it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on and I'll be right back. Okay, I figured I would show you these because I did put them on, but I think I'm actually gonna switch them because I just, I don't know, I just, I feel like they get lost in the black because they aren't quite long enough, unless you're like really close to my face and you can definitely see them. Um, but I feel like it looks like I have barely any lashes on, so I'm gonna, I might think I might try Nora. And if Nora doesn't work, it might be time for Eva. I don't know, this is a dramatic eye look. We can go as dramatic as we want. So I'm gonna use one of these guys. Obviously I'll let you know when I come back, but I thought I would just show you what the vamp lashes look like. Um, I just, I know I won't be happy with it if I keep these on. Something about these like and my hooded eyes just don't work well. Uh, I think if you didn't have hooded eyes, they would be much better because if you set out a little more, I don't know. Okay, we are back again. Guys, I have literally failed this entire video because I was gonna use this too. We're definitely gonna have to do another video trying out new stuff. I'm so sorry that I did that. I feel really stupid. Okay, <laughs> I didn't use the eye putty. Wow, this was a fail. My brain is not here. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, we will definitely try everything out soon, but now it's kind of too late. A little too late, but we will use this blush. This is the Primer Infused Blush in Always Punchy. I love these lashes. Uh, they aren't super short in the front, which is normally what you'd want for that fox eye trend, but uh, they still taper out. Uh, and I am just gonna go with it because I love them and they're beautiful and I'm excited. My favorite blush brush is the ColourPop F9. It's all rubbed off now, but I think it's F9. It looks like these. Use a little bit. Again, kind of keeping that upward motion. I really like that blush, by the way, that's super pigmented, super quick, easy. It looks really nice on the skin. So far, I'm loving these primer infused products from e.l.f. I guess I did get this highlight, which I know is not gonna, we'll see though. This is White Pearl. Oh, it, it definitely shows up more than I thought it would. A little bit above my brow to kind of elevate things. So it definitely shows up. I'm gonna go for it. So, ooh, it, on camera, I feel like it looks even more intense than it does in person. Wow. So definitely way more intense of a highlight than I thought it was gonna be, so that's exciting. Uh, I think I'm gonna pop just a little bit extra on top though. Cause I can't help it. I think I put too much on my forehead. Now my forehead is so shiny, whoops. I did not expect that. Wow, okay. Okay, girl. <laughs> Do we got thing? We're taking the tip of this damp sponge and some of this powder, um, the Physician's Formula Mineral Correcting Powder again, and just kind of cleaning up where I got a little bit of smudgies, a little bit of fallout. For my inner corner and just a tiny bit on my cheeks, I'm gonna use the Orb Pigment from Shot Miss A. 
I'm just gonna spritz my brush. This is the ColourPop All Star Spray. You can use any setting spray ever. Right here, I'm gonna try and keep it vertical. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend it, but I'm gonna try and like not put it too far down. Ooh, ooh. I messed up, guys. This is way too light for this tan of a face, I can tell you that. Whoops. To use a little bit of this Dare to Divulge highlight from Revolution. It's just a little bit more golden. Uh, let's see if that kind of deepens it at all. Ooh, ooh. We are just, what has happened? Like, I love a strong highlight, but on this tan of skin that looks, I, I, this is too much. So let's see if we can, <laughs> I feel like this whole video is just me making mistakes and trying to fix them. I'm just popping that same highlighter on the inner corner. There, I think I want to highlight my brow bone a little bit too. Let's just bring her up even more right here. Let's do some lips, okay? I will remember to use a new e.l.f. lip. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe how many things I forgot to use today. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm already a day late with my videos, so my brain is just like not here of things that I need to get done today, so I apologize. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on this lip liner because it's sitting here and that's easy. It's just Oh Snap by ColourPop, which has been my go-to nude liner. I'm sorry that I don't think it's sold anymore. Okay, so the lip we're gonna use is the e.l.f. Matte Liquid Lipstick, which I absolutely love these, and this is in Blushing Rose. I definitely recommend fully aligning your lips, like the entire filling your lips in with your lip liner before using one of these, because they do wear off in the center quite quickly, at least for me, but I love them anyway. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of gloss. I think we're just gonna use Salted Caramel, Salted Caramel, however you wanna say it, from I Heart Revolution. Smells so good. I have to say that every time, but it literally smells amazing. All right, loves, we are going to consider this the final look. I know it's way more dramatic than I had anticipated. I thought it was gonna be just a little smoky, yeah, but when you're dealing with black, like it's so easy to go overboard. If you guys want me to try this look again with like a much more subdued, a much more natural, like a little bit of brown neutrals, um, just let me know and we can do that because that would be fun. I kind of want to do it again, but do it a little bit less dramatic and more of like an everyday look to kind of pull up your eyes. Anyway, sorry that I totally missed a couple of the e.l.f. products I was supposed to try out in this video, but the ones that I did try out, honestly, I loved everything. I do really like this foundation. It's not my favorite in the world, but it, it definitely is good. It does look a little heavy, but I did put quite a bit on as I was trying to make it match myself tan. Uh, but I loved the bronzer, I loved the blush, I loved the palettes, those were so good. Highlight totally surprised me, completely surprised me. Um, definitely a really good everyday highlight. That's it, I think that's it. All right loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for bearing with me with my whole using an eyeliner, making my eyeballs all annoyed. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's probably so long. Oh my gosh, it's probably so long to edit. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. So they were pink and silver, and now they're blue. I was going to show you my cute little white moons that you probably can't even see now. Let me see if you can see my little moons. My little moon. They were so cute when it was like, I don't know, they're still cute. It's fine. I think then I'm going to go into my face powder. This is just this. this <laughs> can I speak? This one's stained purple, but it's fine because this is a darker shade than the stained purple one. Shannon, wash your brushes. You're disgusting. I know. Oh, don't hit too hard, especially when your eyes are sensitive. <laughs> Good to try new things. We're not leaving the house. It's fine. Did. I just got a lash curl. Oh, that's not what I meant to grab. A dollar. A dollar, dollar, dollar. Wow, that is really high. That's like really, really high up there.